This is Kirsten with Up North Adventures, and this is my official entry for Shed Wars. I live in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, and I am Zone 5. I've lived here since we were Zone 4B, but I've discovered that now <laughs> we're Zone 5. into the house where it was warm. So I did want to tell you a little bit about our plans for the summer. Number one, a greenhouse. So that we can grow greens and uh, winter vegetables in an extended growing season. I did pull out my planting schedule the other day because you know, it is the end of January and I'm ready to do more than a little bit of armchair gardening. So I looked and I thought, oh, I could start onions. And I looked and I looked and it says, according to my zone for planting schedule, onion seeds, plant onion seeds indoors between March 1st and March 15th. Yep, that's how far north we are because we can't plant them out until April 15th. So here's all my little seed trays waiting, waiting. And I've been going through my little uh, book here and I've done a lot of uh, armchair gardening. Somewhere in my house, <laughs> in my strange house that loses things. Or maybe it's me. I have my Johnny Seeds catalog with a lot of things circled um, because we've, we're have we doing a bit of a diet migration to plant paradox. So I want to start growing the things. This is the eat list. There's a lot of um, things on this eat list and a lot of things on the do not eat list, which I have fibromyalgia, so I am already nightshade free, which is I don't eat tomatoes, potatoes, green peppers, eggplant, goji berries, those kinds of things. So I don't even grow them. I make all of my ketchups and tomato based foods out of and sauces out of carrots and beets. So I've kind of changed all of my growing habits to carrots and beets. So that's kind of what I'm doing this year too. And I want to grow a lot of that stuff in the greenhouse to extend that growing space. So another one of the things that we're doing this year, now last year we did grow our own meat chickens, which is amazing. And just eating the um, soy-free organic pasture-raised chickens 
is just an experience that you will have to try for yourself because I can't even describe it. But we're going to expand this year to turkey. So we're going to grow some turkeys along with our meat chickens this year. And I don't know if we're going to try anything else. We kind of discussed geese and ducks, but um, I know we're going to do some turkeys. Oh, another thing this year that we're doing is we are adding bees to our, our little plot here. We aren't going to take them out to the property because I'd be afraid of bears out there. We are going to do one hive here in town. Town is not big and I do have a space that I can put a hive on the south side of our property. So yes, that's, that's coming up too. So watch for that. I guess to make it a little more clear, we live in town and we recently purchased 10 acres out of town that we are going to build a homestead on. But we're starting this year to put, to clear up some property and figure out where we're going to build the house and put in the garden. And we are going to tap some maple trees for syrup this spring. So we do spend an awful lot of time out there in the summer camping. So yeah, we'll share that. We will share that. You will see us out there a lot this summer. And I do foraging. I am a farm to table chef. So you see a lot of that kind of stuff too. I do want to send a special shout out to Wild Edibles. I watched their channel last year and how much fun they had with Shed Wars. And that's the reason I'm here this year. So, hello, go visit them. I will stick a link right here to their channel if I can. I don't know if I can link to other channels, but I'll, I'll try a link. If not, it'll be down below. But go visit them and watch all of their Shed War stuff too. Hilarious. Love them. So I kind of fell in love with these green drinks. I don't quite use the same recipe as in the book. They use romaine lettuce and I am not a fan of romaine lettuce. I buy this organic baby mixed greens and it has all of these different yummy red baby greens and beet greens and radicchio. So it's got spicy stuff in it. So I put half avocado and some filtered water and as many of these greens and spinach that I can get in here. It's just good. And then I add some hemp hearts and a little bit of lemon juice. I add some aloe powder. Sometimes I add like beet powder. Yeah, just kind of boost that nutrition so that I get as much po uh, possible. And some salt and pepper. I use Himalayan salt or Celtic sea salt just to get as much vitamins and minerals as possible. And yeah, I love this stuff. It's good. The recipe has like, I don't know, stevia which I can't see this as a sweet drink. Ooh, it's a savory thing to me, so salt and pepper. Can you just imagine how much vitamin K you're getting here? Oh my gosh, people go to the doctor to get vitamin K shots for their heart health. Do you imagine, this is like having a whole 
I don't know, infusion of vitamin K. This is, this is your, here's your infusion of vitamin K. <laughs> you could add garlic. Oh, yum. So good. All gone. All gone. <laughs> so I was at the big box store the other day. I got this notebook on sale. It was in the, the sale aisle. It's one of these dot ones. I haven't gotten one before because they were so expensive. But this one was two bucks. So this is going to be my garden notebook this year. I haven't even written in it yet. So all my dreams, all my plant things are going in this book. So I always tend to leave them like sitting out in the yard in the rain. But it's okay. It's all good. So I'm looking forward to this year. It'll be fun. I appreciate you watching. Welcome to Shed Wars 21. I'm so happy to be a part of it. And we'll see ya. Take care. Bye.